is celebrating with safety in mind. As you get ready to start those Fiesta celebrations, we wanted to lay out the safety plans surrounding all the events with recent attacks at large events worldwide safety top of mind for so many. Absolutely. Courtney Freeman reached out to local law enforcement and the Fiesta Commission to go over the preparation, the venue policies, and what you can do to help. The rides are still going up at the Alamo Dome and the bleachers along the parade route are empty. But soon, these areas will be flooded with a sea of people celebrating Fiesta. With those big crowds, though, come safety concerns. Almost as soon as Fiesta's done one year, the preparations start for the following year. Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar says he'll have deputies in uniform and plain clothes, including street crime and gang units. We also checked in with SABD, which does walkthroughs, tabletop exercises, and other trainings throughout the year to prepare for Fiesta. We swung by the Alamo Dome parking lot today and saw this massive SAPD command center vehicle ready to go. They have similar setups across town. That communication all funnels through this SAPD fusion center, a coordination of local, state, and even federal agencies keeping a constant eye on these events. Part of the Fiesta safety situation includes the type of bag that you bring to the events. Each venue has different rules, so we broke it all down for you. At the Battle of Flowers Band Festival, you must have a clear bag. At NIOSA, you can only carry small bags, but the clear bags are encouraged. At Taste of New Orleans, those water hydration backpacks are the only bags that are not allowed, but everything you bring will be searched. At Oyster Bake, there's no bag policy, but everything is subject to search. And it's the same thing with the King William Fair. Now, both Fiesta Fiesta and the Carnival are outside of the Alamo Dome, and there will be no bag policy there either. The other thing that's in your hands is speaking up if you see something you feel is off. Suspicious persons, a suspicious vehicle, an unattended backpack or suitcase. Salazar said you can call SAPD or BCSO, but you can also find any first responder there and let them know. Even if it's a firefighter, uh, they know what to do and they know who to get in contact with. Sheriff Salazar confirmed that they are stepping up traffic patrol big time this year to make sure to look for people who are driving while intoxicated. They're doing that by combining deputy shifts to surge during the times when people are drinking. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.